My name is Melissa Coleman, and I'm an assistant professor in the Division of Adult Cardiothoracic Surgery and in the Department of Surgery. What excites me the most about my job at UCSF is the variety of things that I get to do. As a thoracic surgeon, I get to take care of patients who have issues with the lung or with the chest, and so I'm in the operating room doing minimally invasive surgery. When I'm not in the operating room, then I get to take care of patients in the ICU, and that's this fast-paced and multidisciplinary environment where I get to take care of patients that have had cardiac surgery or need advanced therapies for heart and lung surgery. And then when I'm not taking care of patients, I have the role as the Associate Program Director for our Cardiothoracic Surgery Fellowship at UCSF. And this is a great role where I get to work with our fellows and residents and try to design didactics that are actually interesting and not just educational. I think I have two sets or two primary tracks when I think about my future goals. And the first is clinical. I'd like to improve the delivery of care for lung cancer treatment for patients in, from underserved or vulnerable populations. And that can include early lung cancer screening as well as making thoracic surgery options that are minimally invasive accessible to those populations as well. Secondly, I'd like to focus my research on things that combined my interest in cardiothoracic surgery with my interest in critical care. And right now, I'm most interested in studying frailty and its impact on patients who need to undergo cardiothoracic surgery. I think there's a lot that we can learn about the impact of frailty on uh, these patients and the ways in which we can un better understand frailty to figure out ways to determine a patient's risks before surgery, what their outcomes might be out after surgery, and what we can do to intervene before we take them to surgery to improve those outcomes. But since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, the care of underserved patients has really moved to the forefront of my clinical practice. For patients who have severe COVID-19 infections, it's primarily a respiratory disease. And so given my skill set in thoracic surgery and critical care, since the beginning of the pandemic, I've been called upon on an almost daily basis to help treat those patients. So patients who have severe disease often need advanced rescue therapies or emergency treatments, and I'm able to help provide those. And I would say going through and treating patients in the last year under these conditions and the challenges that COVID-19 has brought on all of us have really had an immense impact on how I think about the delivery of care to patients from underserved populations. I'm truly humbled and honored to be named as a John A. Watson Scholar. Joining this group of inspiring colleagues and mentors is really an amazing opportunity. And I think being a John A. Watson Scholar means that I'll have this supportive network that's truly invested in my success and that that will give me the opportunity to devote efforts to my research and my academic interests while I'm also trying to build my clinical practice.